And we are live with the Shelby Valley League game against the Oneida Baptist Institute. We already have the J4 ban from the Baptist team. We do have a top ban of Darius. And another Baptist brand, uh, ban of Bran. We have the Katarina ban, which can be played top or mid. But I am curious as to see what their jungle ban will be if they only ban J J4. They do also ban the Rengar. It has been very common for these teams recently to ban two jungles to counter the uh, Shelby Valley monster that is Kenley. We do have the Kiana from the Oneida team. We do have a Yone ban as well. Three very oddly laned bans. Three bans that could be either top or mid, respectively. And we have a Kha'Zix. Kinley will choose to go with the uh, with the Kha'Zix. We do have a Lucian pick from from the Shelby Valley team. And they will pick the Echo in the mid lane. Which was the previous auto pick for the Shelby Valley mid laner, Jared Brown. So we'll see if this team can do any better on Echo than Jared did. And we likely have a Jinx pick. This is a character that we've seen before against Shelby Valley. So hopefully they might know how to deal with this character already, especially with their outside experience of esports in the game. Starting out in this league is... In this esports league, rather, is brutal. And the Tom Kench pick. Likely Tom Kench, top lane. But we'll see. We do have a Yon pick, or a Yon ban still from the top laner. Not actually sure of the matchup there, but we will see how it plays out, especially with the own ban. Might also be Tom Kench ADC. We have a Syndra ban? Question mark? From the Shelby Valley team? A uh, very unpopular character, which is an interesting ban. Normally you'll want to ban these very popular picks like Zed and Irelia. But the Syndra ban is a interesting one, to say the least. We do have a Trundle ban against the famous Shelby Valley strat, Trundle mid. Which has proven ineffective in the past, so the Trundle ban is interesting. It could be a bad matchup. Does show us that they're top or mid, and one of the two is picking is picking fourth, and seeing as Kiana has already been picked, it is likely a top on fourth pick. The Kiana is taking a little bit of time to choose her ban here. It is a interesting dilemma. Kiana, famously hard engaged character. They will end up banning the Pantheon, a very versatile character. A new strategy is emerging uh, with Pantheon to play Pantheon uh, Jungle. 
there is a phone going off on the Shelby Valley commentating team. Uh, where I do not know where it is. And with that out of the way, we do have a Oriana Morgana pick, which is uh, Morgana, a famously hated character in the game, a one of the strongest supports and possibly even the strongest character in the game, right behind people like Irelia and Yasuo. Morgana roots are famously long. Uh, excuse my excessive use of that adjective. And we do have a Lux pick. They did actually swap roles, or swap champions, to secure that Morgana pick. Something we have not seen the Shelby Valley team do, to my knowledge, at least in my commentating career. Which has been all of two games. We do have a Lux pick on the Shelby Valley support. Lux also a uh, equally, if not more, hated character than Morgana. Famously frustrating due to her excessive power, both in the literal sense of her excessive DPS and her, frankly, um, impenetrable shielding. Her W can save your ADC from just a lot of things that it probably shouldn't. It passes through walls, and it comes back. We do have a spectator delay of three minutes. And once that period will be up, we can see the Shelby Valley rune choices. We will likely see things like Comet on Lux, and possibly even things like Predator on Cossix. Jinx uh, is a uh, interesting rune choice a lot of the time. I've seen several picks on her. I've seen uh, one build that actually worked. It might have been a misclick from my enemy, but it was a uh, PTA build on Jinx, which is a uh, which is normally a Kale setup or things like Misfortune. Jinx does fulfill some of the roles of Misfortune, but not all of them. Her alt is a little bit more long-range oriented, as opposed to the in-your-face approach of Misfortune alts. Normally you will need that support to set up for Misfortune's ult. It is very easy to walk out of otherwise, unless you have the DPS to kill them regardless. It's also very difficult to catch them in the outermost cone of it, so they have the least chance of escaping. We do have another one minute on the spectator delay. We also do have the Garen um, in the top lane of the Baptist Oneida Institute team. And it is likely that their jungle and mid have swapped lanes. Lucian ADC and an Oriana mid, possibly. Tom Kench top lane is a suspected and not ADC, which is a uh, frequent issue. There is a lot of animosity in the community right now of... Uh, Swapping top laners for ADCs. Yasuo ADC is a uh, undisputedly hated pick um, a lot of the time, to the point where a lot of teams will perma ban Yasuo, which isn't irrational to say the least. Another character we commonly see on this perma band that I spoke of is players like Irelia and Zed.
We do have some beautiful skins on this uh, game. We do have a Blackthorn Morgana, Commando Garen, which I'm not a huge fan of, actually. We do have a uh, Dark Harvest Echo build, which is not something I usually see, personally. I usually see, see things like Electrocute. We, of course, have Electrocute on Kiana. But on Oriana, we have Phase Rush, which is not something I've seen, but I haven't seen too many Orianas in general, except for a while ago when she was on free rotation. Also, please do admire these new arcane event towers. Look at these. The new event is arrived. Uh, new dragons will actually be out soon, which I'm sure a lot of the Shelby Valley team and likely the Orion, uh, Oneida team is also very excited for. And let's see the item choices so far. Corruption pots, uh, blue knife on the jungle, blue knife on both jungles, and a Doran shield from Garen. A lot of times you will see Garen's run Doran's blade instead of Doran's shield. Uh, personally, am I advocate against um, the Doran's shield? It's just it's kind of um, scummy in a lot of ways, negating a lot of early game damage. We do have an Oriana just kind of waiting in that bush, trying to use her early game to punish this uh, Oriana. Please do not get these two names confused because they will be in the same lane the entire game. We do have the Echo on Jungle. Which is not something I've seen before. I've usually seen Echo played in the mid lane. We do still have the Leash on top lane and bot lane. Uh, respectively, with the Echo going to top lane for his start. So that he can probably, likely is going for his Wolves at the start. Or just doesn't want to bother the very important bot lane. With top lane being a little more salvageable in a lot of cases. Ah, uh, the root just missing. Garen will be not getting into a scuffle, surprisingly. We have a little bit of a... Uh, Odd Rihanna play so far. And the Morgana is already down to half health. Which, with her passive, is a little more excusable with her excessive lifesteal. Oriana will get gunned down by this Kiana. Maybe forced to back, even. Morgana will go back in for some reason, almost risking death with the support already having to back. Already we see a commanding CS lane from the Shelby Valley team in the bottom lane. But immediately the Oriana goes down. Not even three minutes into the game, which is just pitiful. But they will secure a kill in the bot lane to make up for it. Oh, the Lux route just missing. Still no scuffles to be had in top lane. A little bit of damage coming through here. Oriana will be forcing the Kiana to back for unknown reasons. She's alright on mana and health. Echo is lurking around the bot lane. Interestingly enough.
Let's check the CS. A commanding lead already in the bot lane. With the uh, Oneida support having more CS than their ADC already by almost triple. Two kills already from Abram on the Shelby Valley team. A root will go off in the bot lane from the Lux. And will they secure the kill on the support? They do. Likely on the ADC as well. Aw. The Lux just not having enough damage there. Kiana does come in for the gank to kill the Lux. No. Lucian might actually gun her down here. But he is abandoned by his support. Kha'Zix coming in to finish off the Kiana. No! Oh. she they, they do both use their flash in that fight. A lot of flashes down already. Only five minutes into the game. But never be scared to burn that flash, even if there's a chance of getting away. You haven't seen any in my career, any flashing through walls on the Shelby Valley team, except for Kinley, is likely a skill that you would need to learn. Garen, so tanky, not even taking a little damage from that tower hit. Morgana, using her comet to poke as always. Just missing that root. Iron Spike Whip already coming up from the Garen, a huge buy. Completely even CS almost in the top lane with a dwindling advantage on the team. Kiana will jump in, get the kill. Kha'Zix just able to finish her off. Oriana does have her ignite down. Echo is um, burning from the immense rage that his Kiana has gone down once again. Pinging that ignite down twice. I did miss a kill in the bot lane here with the Jinx burning heal. But it will be up in five seconds. It would have been just enough to save the Onita team in the bot lane. TP is down from the top lane already. A spell that you don't want to use for no reason. Oh, Lux will get the double root in the bot lane. Ah, uh, but Lucian isn't good enough to follow that up. Little upsetting almost. Top lane is missing. Going down to mid lane for the gank, possibly? No. It'll be a big fight in the bot lane for this Drake. Will the Echo get away? No. Dies to Ignite. Shelby Valley team might actually get the Drake here. Keanu doesn't even come down to contest. And Shelby Valley team does get the first Drake. 
Still a commanding CS lead from the Shelby Valley team in the bot lane. But mid losing by 30 in the CS. Jared is a bit of a, almost a... Uh, I'm not going to say weak link on the Shelby Valley team, but can fall behind in the face of the others. Oriana will be recalling for no perceivable reason. She does get she just finished Prowler's Claw. Which is a big item for her, especially with her heavy chase playstyle. Oriana being the only one with kills on the Onita Institute. Mid lane just being pitiful this game. All players except the mid lane and Shelby Valley definitely pulling their weight, making up for the mid. Almost all deaths are on the mid laner. With the with the one that is not being on the uh, 4-1 ADC, which is a bit excusable. Oriana will jump in. Or Kiana even. Kiana does jump in, get the double kill in bot lane. So fed already. I guess another kill. Now having an 8-2 KD. Echo is chasing up the top lane, not knowing that Tom Kench might be here. Oh, but the Garen is up top. Will the jungle even get there in time to make it count? Almost? No, almost. Wait! Kiana jumps in for the double kill in the top lane. So clean, every fight too. This will give the Shelby Valley team a bit of a problem, even with the commanding advantage in bot lane. Mid lane just not pulling their weight at all. It's such an important lane too, with the top lane being a little more recoverable. Min lane hasn't even gotten the chance to peel down and is still 40 CS behind. Pitiful. Kiana does have the 700 gold bounty, which would be big for any um, Shelby Valley player at this point. Especially this um, bit of a fed ADC at the moment. Or even the Lux, who hasn't finished her Leandres yet. Morgana Black Shield is down for the time being. Oh, Kiana is able to jump in for another kill that is stolen by the Echo. So fed. Deletes any player on the Shelby Valley team already. Even the Tom Kench, the tankiest character on their team. I'd like to just take another second to admire these arcane towers before they are destroyed with the Rift Herald mid lane. Oh, it does not go down. Rift Herald will give mid a bit of a chance to catch back up. They are actually winning in tower in almost every lane. The only lane losing in tower would be top lane. Kiano jump again and in again, so heavy for, or so tanky even for an assassin. The insane KD from the Kiana. The 06 mid laner from Shelby Valley. Likely even too far gone to catch up at this point. Kha'Zix will try and jump in on her for some reason. Quickly realizes that that is futile, but does get the kill. Might die to the ignite. He does not. 
surviving with such little HP. I guarantee you that was in the double digits. Garen, or the Echo rather, taking two tower hits and not even being that phased. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. The first tower will go down and another kill on the bot lane. Tom Kench will die to the Echo. Onita Institute is losing on tower in almost every lane, but never mind the top uh, tower does go down, and now balance almost being restored. I would watch this mid lane, but I don't think there's a whole lot to commentate here. Oriana just having to back away at any moment, even with such a ranged character, and not even having the range to play against this Kiana. Kiana will go around to try and just completely ignore it. And completely embodies the ADC. So fed with 12 to three kills. Deletes half of the Shelby Valley health in one move. One clean combo. One combo might actually delete a Shelby Valley player at this point. Kha'Zix does stay to try and get the control ward against the Kiana. Feudal. Control would actually ends up going back up. And I do have to ask, was the control ward worth it? Mid lane getting deleted again. Pitiful. The Onita team is actually catching up in in tower and in kills. They currently have the kill advantage. It does look like they want to go for the Rift Herald once again. With the Kiana just being so powerful, almost impossible to contest. Maybe a 3v1 could stop her, but even then, I'm a bit hesitant. Maybe with the Lux CC. And there will be another kill from the Shelby Valley ADC, Abram. Getting so many kills in this bot lane. Definitely trying to make up. Almost all the kills are from the Shelby Valley bot laner. All other lanes being almost pitifully outdone. And they once again try and engage this Kiana. And it is trying to occur to me, when will they realize that it is not a thing that they can try? They will get the kill, which is just Lux. And they get another root! But, even while rooted, you can use your basic attacks. I do wonder if that Lucian was in range to kill. It's likely that if the Shelby Valley jungle were to pull, were to, oh, but the Lux just does delete almost a fourth of their health in the bot lane, securing another kill. Another tower going down in top lane already. Just pitiful. Bot lane, the only people pulling your weight on the Shelby Valley team right now. Kiana deletes another character. This is shaping up to be a good game. And it is starting to wonder to me how long it'll be before I get to commentate an even game. It is nothing but anyone's game right now. With the Onita Institute just being too powerful on this Kiana to even contest. They do not know she's in that bush in the mid lane. And the... Oh! She gets away with the flash. Tries to ult her for some reason. 
double flash. Have to use both their summoner spells just to escape that Kiana. Why is... Okay. The Kha'Zix was trying to engage the Kiana, even with his buff and one-on-one -on -one fights. No shot. They do have the Grudge on the other team. Item I have not seen before. Let's check it out. Okay, it's just a uh, it's just a slow on damage abilities. They have disconnected. They have reconnected. Is the Shelby Valley team actually DDoSing the Onina team to make them disconnect just to combat this Kiana? If anything, it would be their best strat. No vision on that bush. Kiana will be jumping in. Oriana trying to contest this Kiana when she knows she can't. It is curious to me of how they constantly try and outrange her when they know she has the Prowler's Claw and the ability to engage anyways. Oriana might just want to sit back and split push at this point. Forcing the Kiana away because she is honestly worth less than a wave at this point. I do actually get the kill on the Jinx here, but Kiana coming down. Blue team does get the dragon. And Kiana just deleting their biggest tank. It does take a lot of damage actually there, especially against the Kiana. Why is the Kha'Zix engaging? They know they cannot beat her. Even the Echo. Look at that CS gap in mid. Over a hundred. 70 gap on top and jungle. Again, the ADC and the bot lane in general being the only ones pulling their weight. It's just upsetting to me. You could say that, they're, that the Shelby Valley jungle is at least almost even. But against this team, you have to do something more than that. Morgana does get deleted. Which again, welcome to League of Legends and specifically Lux. Pushed up to inhib at this point on the Shelby Valley team. Pitiful. Four kill advantage. With almost all of them being the Kiana. And we might see this on perma ban from the Shelby Valley team for now on. Why? Once again, trying to engage this Kiana with another double kill. At this point, she can't get much stronger, surely. Is she already full build? Not quite. However, three of her items already finished with no mythics so far. Oh, never mind. Prowler's Claw being the mythic for Kiana. Another shutdown from the Shelby Valley team this time. Shutting down. But no match for the Kiana. And the Shelby Valley team will be aced. With that being spelling the end, especially with the Kiana. Why is the Oriana trying to engage? They do have to start realizing that they cannot fight this Kiana and have to just CC her and all take her out at once. Easier said than done, but. 
Kiana diving in, despite the fire and flames. Getting away with just a bit of health. The leader. Yes! Morgana going down again. All the bot laners just being so squishy. ADC being worth less than a wave on the Onita Institute team at this point. Garen will be coming in for a double? Yes. I doubt he might be able to kill Illusion at this point, though. Especially with his dash. He does! With the triple. With the quad feed? Aw, uh, yes! Let him get the Penta. He gets the Penta! The Garen. Getting the Penta kill against the Shelby Valley team. Not even the Kiana getting the Penta. Just pitiful. Going into the Shelby Valley base, which is how confident they are at this point. Pitiful. Kiana deleting the support in one combo. Again! Uh, this is just bullying. Just end. Pitiful. I can feel the all chat emanating from the next room over.